Good morrow, nerds! This week on the LARP House, we are going to discuss the basics of design and application of war paint. We are going to show you a couple different ways to apply war paint so that it stands up to those long, hard battles. But first, some news. We have decided to make the global edition of the character interviews an annual thing. We will kick off each year with interviews from LARPers all around the world, so submit yours whenever you can. We are also now requesting interviews from GMs and staff members, so if you have ever run or staffed a LARP event before, we want your interview. All genres and styles are welcome. Submission guidelines and questions for both interviews are in the Patron Resources tag of our Patreon page in public posts, and the links to those posts will be in the description of this video. All right, now, here is the... Here's the Whopper here. Huh. So you guys may remember my axe murderish freak out over the College of Wizardry LARP in Poland in one of our previous videos. Well, apparently Klaus Rosted, the project coordinator for the LARP, also remembered that freak out and over Christmas break we got a message from him and... I'm going to wizard school! <laughs> We're gonna go in March, come hell or hippogriffs. Harry Potter and LARP helped me through one of the toughest times of my entire life when I struggled with just severe death anxiety like I talked about a little bit in this video. And now I get to go to a Harry Potter LARP. This is an actual real life dream come true and I am so freaking thankful for the opportunity. We do need help in getting there, and so to help us reach our traveling goals so that I can live my lifelong dream, we are running a limited edition Patreon reward. Custom wands. The next 50 people who pledge $15 or more on our Patreon page get one of four wand designs. You will submit designs, I can submit designs, we will vote on the top four, and that will be what you have to pick from, and I will send them to you. You can only get these wands through our Patreon page, through this reward, or through maybe future giveaways. So, get it while it lasts. And even if we don't meet our traveling goal, I will still fill all of the rewards for the wands, so there's no risk on your part. And if you remain a pledge, you will get a themed gift every time we travel out of the country for a LARP event. And now, without further ado, let's do some more paint. The first thing I want to say is that there is a difference between war paint and ceremonial or cultural tattoos. It is important to know the difference if your LARP borrows cultural elements from real-life cultures, because if you mix the two up, you could potentially have a very bad day on the internet. Traditionally, war paint is used to look more fearsome in battle in some way, so you don't want to go around wearing sacred ceremonial markings of a real culture for the wrong occasion because that is just, it's just tacky. A good and safe way to go is to create your own designs for tattoos and war paint based on the information from your in-game culture. What do they use for pigment? How do they apply it? Are they spiritual? What do they consider to be fearsome or symbolic of strength? What are they trying to emulate? Is their art more literal or is it more abstract? These are all good questions to consider when you're making your own designs, and if you can answer these, it'll help give your character and your culture a whole lot more depth. So what we've got here for materials is Prosade, a medical hypoallergenic sort of adhesive, makeup brushes, Q-tips, sealing spray, water in a spray can, in a spray bottle, setting powder, and either Graftobian Pro Paint or Mayron Paradise Paint. I tend to prefer Mayron, but we're going to start with Graftobian here. These are both water-based makeups that you just spray water on to activate. First thing you're going to do is clean off your face with alcohol. 99% alcohol in that spray thing. And then we're going to outline the design that, that you just spent so much time probably not designing. It's great. It's going to be fine. And over one half of the of the outline of all the surface area that's going to be black, I am I am putting prosade on the skin. This creates once it's dry, it creates a barrier between your skin and the makeup, which means that your own sweat will probably not be the cause of it smudging everywhere. And I'm just for contrast, I'm just putting the straight makeup with no barrier on the other side of the face, and we're gonna. We're gonna see how this how this holds up. You want to wait till it's till it's dry um, before you paint over it. But that's only to save your brush. 
it, it actually might be better for the makeup if you do it while it's a little bit wet. And now I am sealing it with setting powder. This is, this is an important step. This helps protect the makeup from outside elements, outside assailants. Okay, now this is seven full hours later, and as you can see, this side here, which did not have the prosade base, is much more smeared than the side that does have the prosade. Even though he did his very best not to pick at it or mess with it at all. Now, the next bit I'm going to show you is alcohol-based makeup. This, I am using Pro Air ink, which is for airbrushes, but I hate airbrushes, so we're not going to do that. And then I have just alcohol in a spray bottle, and makeup brushes because you get this makeup off by applying alcohol to it otherwise it's sweat proof and waterproof so we're gonna see how it holds up so what I'm going to do here is exactly the same thing we did for the first round of makeup except I'm going to be using Mayron Paradise paint instead of Graftobian Pro paint uh, the Graftobian worked okay but I found the texture to be muddy and gross whereas this is kind of velvety and I just, I use water in a spray bottle and mix it up with my paintbrush and apply it like that. And so, I'm just doing the same thing here. The Prosade Primer on the skin. And then going in and filling it in. I'm really just redoing this, this application as a contrast for the alcohol-based makeup that we're going to show you and put to the test in a minute here. And a link to all of these makeups and and items will be in the description of this video. So this is the alcohol-based makeup, and I'm just kind of making up a design. But this is a pretty cheap brand. You have to go over it twice, probably, to get a nice, a nice even black. But for the price, that's really not a problem. And especially for war paint type purposes, really it's fine. And then you clean your brush with alcohol. And now I'm setting both makeups. You don't have to set alcohol-based makeup with powder, but as you can see now, it's all plasticky on his forehead. And putting the powder on it makes it nice and matte, which makes it look a little more, you know, accurate. And so now what we're doing, since we don't have seven hours and we want to show off how crazy this alcohol makeup is. We're blasting Anthony's face with a face steamer. It's perfectly safe, it's even good for your skin, but it is a little bit torture. So I hope we can all appreciate Anthony's struggle here. It is, is unpleasant. But this is basically to just sort of simulate really the worst possible conditions you could want to have makeup on in. It's like, I don't know, it's August in Florida, you know, I hope you're not LARPing in jungle conditions, but if you are, at least we have a makeup for you. So you might notice the moisture starting to beat up on the side with the prosade, and that is because the prosade creates a barrier, and so the moisture doesn't have anywhere to go. It doesn't absorb into the skin like it is on the other side, where it's just going right through the makeup. As you can see, they are both, both sides are, are, are getting just a little bit wrecked by all of this, just steam blasting at his face. But the alcohol makeup was completely unaffected. It's even still matte at this point. It's kind of insane. And there you have it. Links to these products will be in the description. <laughs> There you go, my nerds. You are now equipped to intimidate your enemies and impress your friends with your war paint.
That's it for this week. A lot of exciting things happening, so don't forget to check out our links here and that special edition Patreon award because I really want to go to wizard school and film it for you guys. That... <laughs> Thank you for everyone who's already supporting us. We are super close to our first giveaway goal, even without all this craziness, so... Thank you. <laughs> and as always, nerds, like us, subscribe to us, fight with us. This is an actual real-life dream con- <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs>